Hi everyone, it's Raybo. What we're going to do today is just a quick uh, tutorial. I've noticed on the forums that, the Sim Settlement forums, that a few folks have asked on how to get their plugin list so they can post it on the forums to get some help. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, I have a desktop shortcut set up. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to show you guys how to, the differences between the two different files that you'll be looking at. And uh, then maybe towards the end of the video, I'll talk about a couple other ways. It's, this isn't the only way, but this is the way I have it set up for, for my own sys setup. Anyway, I hit the, the shortcut. This load order file or this load order file, this will show your plugs that are enabled or disabled. This will just show all your, your complete load order without any asterisks on it. So you can use this one is easier to if you're going to do your own manipulation with an Excel um, or do a comparison. This is actually handy for posting on the forums if you're you know looking for help because it can help us see which which plugs you actually have enabled and disabled. So the way you set up the shortcut is you'd go to uh, this PC, Windows, which, you know, whatever drive you have your user um, folders on. Um, Daisy's the name of an old dog. It might as well be Raybo. If your name is Steve, it would be Steve here. App Data Local Fallout 4. And what you do is go up a level, find the Fallout 4, it'll be highlighted. And you can go create shortcut I like just to send the desktop it creates this folder and you can go right to it now if you're doing it from another location to get the initial setup um, you can go to your libraries folder you could go to your C drive whichever and uh, let's uh, do this then and we're going to go to users so if your name's Steve it's going to be Steve instead of Daisy and app data local and there you go so that's how I have it set up um, I also have loot still on my uh, computer here so you can you can do it through loot you there's other file paths you can use uh, you can go through different file paths to find them in different ways but I find this is the the best way now to quickly show you guys what we're going to be looking at or what you, you'll find is we'll go into the plugins here and you don't even have to use the windows if you have something like uh, notes plus plus you could use that and uh, let's take a uh, I know where it is so let's see three fifty something is the castle the castle if you look at these two plugins see how they don't have an asterisk that means they're not enabled if you go to this other list And uh, let's do it the other way so we can get some numbers on the side. And we go down to the same 350 something here. See how everything doesn't have an asterisk? So this makes it handy to export it to things like Word and Excel and, and do comparisons with other people's load orders. But um, it doesn't distinguish between the, the plugin being active or not. So that's pretty much it, folks. Um, hopes, hopefully this uh, video is, is specifically targeted at new users on the, on the forums looking for help. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, the reason they didn't post their load orders is because they were afraid uh, to ask or, you know, thinking that they would uh, should already know that. And, and it's, believe it or not, a, a lot of... Uh, experienced users ask the same question but it's it's so incredibly simple to set up and uh, I also like keeping this and uh, 
making dated files so I can compare my own load order because you never know when something's going to happen. You're going to update something and your load order might get messed up and uh, you need to go back and have a reference to to look at from a previous date. So um, it's something that I, I suggest most users get set up on their desktop. Anyway, hope this is helpful to you guys and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.